Hello everybody, my name is Rick Bennett, and I'm the founder and owner of Tech View Snop. And today I'm going to show you how to find the either general errors or very specific errors, especially with blue screen to death on Windows and what's actually causing it and stuff like that. Or at least how to get the error number so you can do some research on the actual particular error. Because anyone who's actually had a blue screen they will know that a blue screen shows up for a very short amount of time if you don't get to it very quickly then use that error code i'm going to show you how to get that error code and possibly even find some errors that you don't even know that you had but anyways let's jump into a quick and that way you know how to support this channel and make it better and um and everything quicker and better than i can ever do on just my own thank you for sticking around during this quick personal advertisement and if you want to help us out at TechView Snop in the TechView Snop YouTube channel then there are several easy and quick ways to do it. First off there is a fan phone on the YouTube channel itself I'm, I'm not really going to talk too much about it it's, it's kind of a new feature but if you want to check it out then go ahead and click the top tech views and help icon and also that will take you to our channel itself where you check out our other videos subscribe and you can also share our stuff so if you want to help us out the easiest and the quickest way to do it is simply just by subscribing liking commenting and also more importantly sharing the uh, videos and and uh, just turn off the ad block as you're watching the videos and make sure advertisements are allowed to go up now other ways that you can help us out is on the bottom left you can click on the PayPal button and that will take you to our PayPal link where you can donate a one-time fee for the PayPal on the right side is the Patreon and um, that's a monthly thing so if you want to donate monthly then you can go there in the middle is the uh, Disney which is which owns Maker Studio and if you have a YouTube channel and want to get partnered up then you can click that and if he has accepted then whatever maker would get uh, out of the cut, I actually get a little bit of that, and you still get to keep whatever revenue as as before. But it also helps me out because whatever maker studio would get, I would get a little bit of that each and every time, and it helps me build up enough money to get labs and stuff rolling on. But anyways, let's uh, take you back to whatever video that this is, and hopefully you enjoy it. Welcome back. Now, as far as this goes, this should run on Windows XP to future versions of Windows. I'm pretty sure it works on Windows 10. Let's go down to the start if, um, you know, you have it. And look for Computer Management uh, Event Viewer, and you can search for it there if you're on one is eight then just go to the start go right click on that and you can select event viewer or computer management same thing and um what you're looking for is windows log and uh basically what you're trying to get down to let's let's get down to like the most important blue screen death um how do you find the actual thing so so you can research and figure out what the problem was go to system and this is the system core things um, application is everything that's other than the one is core stuff system is the core go to the filter and I'll suggest just doing critical and error especially if you're just doing blue screen I'm just going through a warning just because this demonstration. And sort by source, the source name, and look for bug check. Now I had a um, a blue screen on this particular computer, so I won't have that lock here. But the bug check will have something hexadecimal. And because I don't have one, I'm just going to, I just looked at one on Google. So what you're looking for when you get into these bug traps is uh, pretty much that line. And um, what you're looking for when you're searching this stuff is 
this just throw in that last little bit into the um, Google or something and basically that will tell you what it is so when you search for it just look for that put put in this little hexadecimal into it and just search and put blue screen before and after and that should probably get you quite a bit ahead um, now most of the time what happens is it uses the last two digits so it might like this and just put in the last two digits if the first thing doesn't work but I should just just throw in an entire hexadecimal and that should help out quite a bit you might still have to go to the uh, memory dump in order to figure out some more information but usually on Google you can figure out some stuff through that so as far as this goes again basically the uh, what you're looking at here for other type of errors is just a uh, just go in here and just take a look at this so warnings are usually something that you don't have to worry about immediately errors and critical especially critical is something that you gotta worry about immediately um, errors yeah but it, it it depends on what the error is sometimes the errors are being worked on sometimes it's um, old um, say for example with this particular computer I had it once hooked up to Windows 2012 server so I had a um, you know group policy set up with it and all that stuff well I don't have that system anymore because it didn't work for my life it's giving me an error for the group policy stuff which I don't care about so it's, it's completely useless it's a valid error but it's completely useless because it you know, it's pointless um, trying to find something worthwhile. Then you got things like warnings, so like this, it says display driver stop um, and was successfully recovered. And you can get the time and stuff like that. And that's another thing uh, for I mentioned with the blue screens. After you get the blue screen, get logged back in and able to look at this stuff. Look for the most recent bug track and that's, that's the one that was loaded. Obviously, um, if you're looking at an old one, it might not be relevant to what you're looking at. Most of the time, the, the blue screens are, are caused by, and the same thing happens with Macintoshes, and sometimes the Linux, it can happen, but it's usually with and, and Windows. is something to deal with the memory. Uh, memory block wasn't recognized. Um, something was moved around, either malware or you or something else it moved some memory blocks around where the operating system didn't like it um didn't, didn't didn't say this should happen so instead of going through the actual change in the memory block it just shuts down the entire computer because once if it's an actual attack so that's one of the things so a lot of people think well blue screens is only with windows yeah blue screens is but apple has its own type of blue screen uh, depending on which generation is depending on what it looks like but that's why um, and that it's common on both I haven't really seen anything on Linux but I don't see why not why, why it couldn't happen on Linux anyways uh, I want to add one more thing before we um, head off the uh, warnings and the entire list warnings to critical that um depending on if it's a system if it's a system thing then what will happen is usually one is, is taking tab and same thing with apple apple does the same thing on their operating system um depending on which version of linux it's been on if how true this is like something like ubuntu you'll find the same thing there what happens is the information is sent over to the manufacturer, so in this case Microsoft, and um, and they actually work on those things to fix across the board, especially if it's happening across the board. If it's just happening on your computer, chances are they might not even know about the error, and I wouldn't really suggest bugging them about it, but if it's happening on, on quite a few devices, like say for example if it's a uh, uh, driver or something like that 
then they might actually have a guy actually working on it at the time. Even if it's like a simple warning error, they probably already have someone working on it and you probably will see an update sooner or later on it. And again, this happens across the board. It doesn't matter if it's Apple. Obviously, they have their own little separate thing. It looks 100% different, but still, at the end of the day, it, the end result is the same. Linux, it, if you're doing something like Ubuntu, yeah, they have their own thing. Other versions of, of Linux, I, it, it's hard to say. Probably not, because the smaller team, the less likely they can do it, even if they want to. But things, major companies like Microsoft, uh, Chronicle, I think that's Ubuntu's, and Apple, that um, they, they can do it, and they, and they do it. But anyways, it's been Craig Bennett, the founder of Honor Tech Views and Help, and if you got any problems or anything, then please feel free to leave me a comment, and I'll try to help you out as best as possible. Don't send your blue screens to me. I, I won't really do much there beyond tell you to look at Google. Because, I mean, uh, I, that's probably what I'll end up doing myself if you sent it to me if, if I did look at it. But if you do have any problems to get into the event viewer or, or anything like that, then let me know. Also, if you want any more information on this, then also let me know and I'll try to help you as best as possible. If you want to add any more information, then feel free and that way you can help out everybody. Now, if you want to... Uh, future videos be on uh, some particular topic then feel free to leave a comment below and say what you want that topic to be but anyways if you like this video please leave a like please subscribe and please share and feel free to check out my other videos the patreon campaign the paypal donations the tech feed outside the cafe press stuff and so on and so on and so on if you didn't like it however feel free to leave a dislike but also tell me why so i can fix it in future videos but, it, but anyways Feel free to uh, stick around for my other videos. And this has been Craig Bennett, founder of Honor Tech Reviews Nope. And I hope you have a great day.